A Fox News alert as we watch the recovery after this morning's deadly train crash in New Jersey. One person confirmed dead, more than 100 injured when that commuter train packed, plowed through the Hoboken passenger station. Dozens of passengers were taken to the hospital with various degrees of injuries, but the good news is that it appears a great many of those injuries are turning out to, in fact, be minor. Well, that Hoboken station is one of the busiest transit hubs in the nation, just west of, of course, the biggest city, New York. Brian Yennis continues our live coverage for us from the scene. So, Brian, what are you hearing there? What's the latest? Hi, Heather. Well, so far, what we know is that there are about there are 68 injured. We have 17 of those injured at the Hoboken University Medical Center. That is about just six or seven blocks away from where this crash happened. All of them are in stable condition. They're expected to be okay. Here at the Jersey City Medical Center, this is the trauma center, level two trauma center here in New Jersey. 40 of the of the 51 victims that are here are those that are the walking wounded. They have the cuts and the bruises and the lacerations. They are set up in the cafeteria triage center. Eight are in less serious condition, but serious condition, and three are in the most serious condition. Those three people are, have been in intensive care and in operating rooms, et cetera, and we'll get an update on that. But given what we've seen, everyone seems to be and should be walking away from this uh, alive and okay. Um, uh, on top of that, we spoke to some of the witnesses that came out of this hospital. We spoke to three, actually. One of them is David. He's from New Jersey. After David, we also spoke to Amy. David was in the first car when the train crashed and Amy was in the fourth car when it crashed. Listen to what they had to say. Standing, sound, lights went out and just didn't stop and people were falling over who were standing and then it just, the, the roof came down, uh, the, the roof of the train like popped down, caved in. How close was that to you? I was right, th I was right there. It was like, I was standing like right next to where I was. It was surreal. It, 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 when it first shimmied, my first thought was, this is going to be a life changer. And then the impact came, and, and it is a life changer for everybody. Why did this crash happen? Do you know? It, it was coming into the station faster than normal. Usually it crawls when it comes into the station. Um, and it was overcrowded because there was a car short. Um, I, I only hope that whoever was running the train or driving the train had a medical problem which caused this to happen and that it wasn't anything other because it's too tragic for everyone. Both David and Amy tell us they are just feeling lucky to be alive. David explains he saw blood everywhere and injuries. He escaped from that first car. He said that the collapse happened just inches in front of him. He escaped from that first car of the train through a window, and he said at one point it seemed as though people were going to stampede out, but then they everyone sort of paused and took a breath, and then everybody orderly sort of got out there the right way. And Amy says she, you know, she had hurt her wrist and her foot. She feels lucky. She's been dry, she's been on this train for 30 years. She is now, though, scared about getting on the train now, uh, given what she's went through. She said her train was actually pushed on its side. Um, but again, some, some pretty harrowing uh, accounts from two of those, just two of the many, many victims of this crash. Heather? Yeah, certainly. Uh, Brian, I did want to ask you, in terms of all of the injured that are at these two different hospitals, do we know uh, how many were on the train, how many were standing in the terminal itself, and do you know about the extent of the injuries of those three? that you said are uh, the most serious at this point. Right. So what we've been told by the hospital, they wouldn't get into specifics about the numbers, but what we've been told is that the, most of the people that are at this medical center, the Jersey uh, City Medical Center, were on the train. They were not on the platform. These are passengers that were on the train, some 250 that were packed onto this train. As to those that are the most serious condition, we know that they have some orthopedic and internal injuries. We knew one was in the operating room at the time, and we were told this about an hour ago. We know another person is somebody who was in the ICU see in intensive care and another person was getting treatment but that's as much as we know again though the hospital believes these are non-life threatening injuries to the extent that they expect everyone to be okay at last check heather yeah, at least some good news there uh, thank you so much brian yes reporting live for us